Parties. Welcome back to our math lesson. Have you heard of number partners? Let's see what they are. But first, let's do something very easy peasy. You can do this on your own or you can do it along with me. What's 10 plus 5? No, no, no. Don't use your fingers. Do it mentally. What's 10 plus 5? 15. Very good. 10 plus 7 is 17. 10 plus 2 is 12. And 10 plus 9 is 19. That was easy, wasn't it? Now, do you know what is number partners? Let's have a look. Number partners aren't numbers. When you add them together, you get 10. So when you add the two numbers, you get a 10. Our number partners are 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5. What are our number partners? Our number partners are 1 and 9. When you add 1 and 9 together, you get a 10. When you add 2 and 8 together, you get a 10. When you add 3 and 7, you get a 10. What's 4 and 6 when you add them together? A 10. That's right. What about 5 plus 5? That's also a 10. Let's look at this visually now. 1 plus 9 gives us a 10. 2 plus 8 gives us a 10. 3 plus 7 gives us a 10. Are you sure? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 3 and 7 gives us a 10. So 3 and 7 are number partners. 4 and 6 gives us a 10. 5 and 5 equals 10. 6 and 4 are number partners. So 6 and 4 equals 10. Do you remember? 4 and 6 equals 10. And 6 and 4 equals 10. Because 6 and 4 are number partners. 7 and 3 gives us 10. 8 and 2 equals 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10. So these are the ways to make a 10. You might not know it right away, but keep practicing. So let's look at our number partners again. Number partners are two numbers. When you add them together, you get a 10. 3 and 7 equal 10. So 3 and 7 are number partners. When you add 3 plus 7, you get a 10. When you add 7 plus 3, you get a 10. Let's check 2 and 8. Is 2 and 8 a number partner? 2 plus 8 equals 10 and 8 plus 2 equals 10. So yes, 2 and 8 are number partners. Let's see if you remember what numbers make a 10. 4 plus what gives us a 10? What's the number partner for 4? That's right. 6. 2 plus, what gives us a 10? 2 plus 8. What about 7? 7 plus 3 gives us a 10. If 7 and 3 give us a 10, what's the number partner for 3? Yes, 7. Because 7 and 3 are number partners. 9 plus 1 gives us a 10. And 1 plus what gives us a 10? Remember, 1 and 9 are number partners. So 1 plus 9 will give you a 10. 
Now let's do some practice. Let's add using make a ten strategy. What's that? Let's find out. What you need to do is you need to split the smaller number to make a number partner for the bigger number. Did you get that? Let me repeat. What you need to do is split the smaller number to make a number partner for the bigger number. Let's do it step by step. What's our smaller number here in 7 and 5? The 5. Let's split it. Now we need to make a number partner for the bigger number. What's the number partner for 7? Do you remember? 3. That's right. So 7 and 3 make a 10. But now we need to do something with our 5. We need to make a number bond for our 5. We have a 3. 3 plus what gives us a 5? You can use the number line. 3 is over here. 5 is over here. 1, 2. So 3 plus 2 gives us a 5. Now let's add using our addition strategy, make a 10. So we have the number partners 7 and 3. That's 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2 is very easy to solve, isn't it? 10 plus 2, 12. So that's how we get 7 plus 5, 12. Let's do one more. 6 plus 8. Remember, we split the smaller number. What's the number partner for 8? 2. Very good. Now 6. Let's make a number bond. 2 and what number will give you a 6? 1. 2, 3, 4. So 2 and 4 gives you a 6. We have our number partners here. 8 and 2. 10 plus 4 equals 14. So that's why 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. Did you understand? Let's keep practicing. 5 plus 9. Which one is our smaller number? We split the smaller number. What's our number partner for 9? 1. Very good. And now, what's the number born for 5? 1 plus what will give you 5? Can you do it mentally? 1 plus 4 gives 5. Very good. Now we have the number partners 9 and 1. That's 10. So now 10 plus 4 equals 14. Good job. So 5 plus 9 equals 14. Next one, 7 plus 6. Split the 6. 7 plus what number gives you 10? What's the number partner for 7? 3. Excellent. 3 plus what will give you 6? 3 plus 3 gives us 6. Now, 7 and 3 are number partners. That gives us 10. 10 plus 3 equals 13. So, 7 plus 6 equals 13. Was that easy? Did you understand? Try if you can do this by yourself. Pause the screen and try to do it. If you need help, we'll do it together. First, identify your smaller number. We'll split that one. Now, think of which number is the number partner for 8. 2, that's right, because 8 and 2 make a 10. Now, because we split the 5, we need to see which number should we add to 2 to get a 5. We have 2 over here, 5 over here. 1, 2, 3. So 2 and 3 gives us a 5. We know that 8 and 2 are number partners. So that's 10. 10 
plus 3 equals 13. So 5 plus 8 equals 13. All right. Keep practicing your addition strategies. Make a 10 and double strategy and you will be able to add very quickly. I have a worksheet for you now. The link for the worksheet will be in the description box below. You must do this by using make a 10 strategy. And don't forget to show me your number partners. Do send me your answers on Instagram at Miss K Kazi. All right, that brings us to the end of our lesson. Great work today. Remember, keep practicing your double strategy and make a 10 strategy and that will help you in your addition. Bye-bye.